Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to dis discuss about word extraction from a string. This is very very important concept in string like in integer or double that is number related problems, digit extraction from a number, uh, that concept is very important. Corresponding to that, here word extraction from a string is very very important in lots of numerical, lots of problems, in lots of problems in Java or MATLAB, whatever programming you consider python c c plus plus this concept is very important in string related problems okay so that's what i am going to discuss in my this video okay so let's see uh, what is the algorithm to extract the words from a string that's what uh, our uh, discussion of today's video so see obviously as it is string related program so we will uh, take input using buffer reader class so no, no, don't try to use scanner class in the string related programs it may give error sometimes okay so import java.io.star then class fr i have defined the one class name you can give class name according to your choice then public static void main string arcs throws io exception this particular throws io exception no need to write if you are using scanner class but if you are uh, using buffer reader class for input you must have to give this uh, otherwise you will get error right then buffer reader r equal to new buffer reader new input stream reader system.in we are creating one object in the buffer reader class then system.out.println and enter the sentence we are taking input from the user sentence as a sentence then string q equal to r.readline we are storing that particular sentence in q variable which is basically whose data type is string right you should not take character because character is only one uh, character and multiple characters are combined in case of string okay so string q equal to r dot read line fine now how to extract the words from a string that's what very important that algorithm is see suppose you consider this particular sentence i am indian okay so separate each word so i is one word m is one word indian is another word right so what how you are telling which uh, i and m these two are different words see in between these two there is one space similarly m and indian between these two there is one space right so separate each words to separate each words you have to find space and this is the whole concept of this particular program and programs related to this particular topic so you have to find the space whenever we find space that ends one word and starts a new word okay like here i then space then m that means one word is ended that word is i and then m is started right so what uh, you can do to store that particular word in between two uh, space you can write like this that is string b equal to one empty string you can define then for i for int i equal to 0 i less than l i plus plus where l is the length of the string you can write l equal to q dot length then bracket open bracket close first bracket open first bracket close you can write like that and you can calculate l then we are using one for loop from 0 to uh, length of the string if q dot care at i not equal to space okay caret i is just used in string related program to extract the character corresponding to i position in a particular string if q dot caret i not equal to space then we are directly storing that in b variable b equal to b plus q dot caret i just you dry run the program suppose you consider this particular case i am indian so for int i equal to 0 if q dot caret i what is uh, caret 0 that is i so whether it is equal to 0 no so it will be directly stored to b initialize we have initialized b with uh, as empty string but now in b variable i is stored right then see in the next uh, when i will be incremented due to this particular i plus plus operation i will be 1 so q dot caret 1 is what space so this particular if condition is not going to satisfy so corresponding to that we have to write something for else if so see else if part is else if q dot caret i equal to equal to space if it is space 
corresponding to ith position we are directly printing system dot out dot print ln b because b is one word because it ends with one space so i will be printed see first word is printed then again we will initialize our b string as one empty string this is also very very important otherwise in the next iteration you will get some error okay or some improper output so again if you initialize b with one empty string see again i will be incremented now i becomes two so second character uh, i equal to two uh, character is a so a will be stored in b variable if, because again b is initialized as empty string so now b becomes what b becomes a then again i will be implemented i plus plus if m will be extracted m will be stored then b will become a m and then what will happen basically see b is equal to b plus q dot caret i basically used for concatenation okay just to add side by side characters okay now b is equal to am is done now when again i will be incremented again this particular space in between am and indian will appear so this particular if condition will not satisfy then again it will go to else if and as we are getting space so it will print that so then what will be printed in the next line because we are using print ln so in the next line am m will be printed and again we will initialize b as empty string and again in this loop will go on and india will also be extracted up to this it is fine but the problem is that if you consider the last word after the last word there is no space and as we have written our program our program will only go to else if condition to print whenever it will find some space so what will happen for the last particular word to avoid this mistake what we will do what about the last word to avoid this particular problem uh, when while defining in the beginning itself string q equal to r dot red line we will add one extra space at the end of our sentence so q equal to q plus one extra space so that there is no problem in extracting the last word of this string also okay so i hope you have understood the algorithm now let me directly go to uh, java program and show you see here i have written the same program import java.io.star class fr public state requirements string args throws io exception then created the object in the buffer data class system.out.print and enter the sentence string q equal to r.read line then q equal to q plus one empty uh, space we are uh, defining at the end then string b then string y also i have defined here this for particular program string y is not required sorry then system dot out dot print and the words are for int i equal to 0 i less than l i plus plus if q dot caret i not equal to 0 then b equal to b plus q dot caret i else if q dot caret i equal to equal to space then system dot out dot print and b b equal to 1 again define as b variable as one empty string okay so let me uh, go to comment prompt and let me show you the simulation so cd java then java c fr uh, sorry uh, java c fr dot java then java fr suppose let me write i am indian see i am indian see, printed separately so we have extracted those separately suppose you you, you uh, give some another sentence we love our country okay so now see enter see we love our country different in different lines it is printed and uh, basically we have extracted if you want you can store in one array do some programs manipulate your code try to change according to situation work with it play with it and you will understand it clearly okay this is all for my this video if you have any doubt regarding the algorithm please ask in the comment section thank you for watching